Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my presentation. This presentation uh, has been prepared for ULT 512 as part of the assessment. So the presentation basically gives an opportunity for us to showcase our proposed uh, distribution, proposed improvement of the assessment. And in this presentation, I will briefly uh, give the idea that I have developed for my unit. So before I go in depth of the assessment items and strategy, I would like to give the in unit introduction. The unit name uh, is Introduction to Accounting ACT 102, basically a first year accounting courses and uh, mandatory courses for all Bachelor of Accounting courses. And we offer this course uh, in both face-to-face -face as well as in online across all the semesters, including summer. And the course, most importantly, is a required course from the accreditation body like CPA and uh, the other CA as well. CPA stands for Certified or <coughs> Practice Accounts. And this is a first year course, as I said, a very fresh course for the most of the students. Let's look at the student's profile and the context before <coughs> we develop uh, or we pro propose the assessment items. First of all, if you see the uh, dom student's cohort, the domestic students are 35% and international student is 65% because the out of three campuses, two campuses like Sydney campus and Melbourne campuses, all the students are international and only in our uh, Darwin Waterfront campus has both domestic and international students. So uh, we can see the students background a bit about this and most of the students who are coming from this um, international, they actually major in accounting because one of the requirement to get into uh, this degree is that they have prior knowledge in accounting. So most of the students are, uh, I'm assuming that have a previous or prior knowledge in accounting. Almost 80% of students are actually external, uh, internal and only 20% 20, uh, 20 of students are external. That means the students who take the classes in online. And all these informations are taken from the student statistics from LearnLine's Learn Learn site. Okay, so uh, let's look at the learning outcomes and how this course and the courses learning outcomes as well as the assessment items feeds with the graduate attributes of CDU. So every course that we offer, uh, every degree that we are offering at the university, of course, it has a specific goals uh, that we want our students to uh, acquire all of these skills like acquisition, application, creativity, knowledge base and communication, teamwork, social responsibility, flexibility and leadership throughout all these courses that or units that we are offering we are expecting our students to achieve this quality. For this particular unit that I'm teaching ACT 102 we have um, very specific learning outcomes especially five learning outcomes that we are uh, we aim for this course. The first one, uh, because the course is accounting, so of course they describe the role of accounting information in the business environment so this is the first, uh, the first criteria, the first outcome that we expect in students to get the accounting information, how the accounting can be used actually in in different business environment. Okay, and what are the decisions that they can take from this accounting information? Second, demonstrate an understanding of the accounting cycle from initial business transition to post closing trial balance and then we expect the students to prepare at least the basic level of financial reports so that they can understand they can uh, read the financial reports and then we go a bit of advanced that is the partnership if we form a partnership business how we can uh, form how we can withdraw from the partners or if you want to dissolution the partnership how we can uh, do this so the basic uh, form of partnership financial statements we're expecting students to learn this and finally critically analyze and interpret financial statements to evaluate organizational performance it is not enough only to be able to record or to be able to read the financial reports is very important to take the information or 
digest the information to take an informed decision so how do we actually compare the performance between these two companies or the other companies or, or with my companies or with industry average so that's what we're expecting from the ratio analysis or by developing some skills the students should be able to understand this so uh, these are the specific learning outcomes that we are expecting and the unit assessment item are actually we have uh, three mid semester exam and written report and final exam so by these three way of uh, uh, assessment items you are expecting to get these learning outcomes and these learning outcomes to some extent will contribute to the graduate attributes of CDU now uh, what are the criteria that I chose for designing an assessment so I found a report and from my research board and associates they develop a very nice report and also give some criteria that uh, should be uh, that is uh, in my unit at least for accounting or social science perspective looks very important and also very relevant the first criteria that they propose that learning from assessment that is obvious and criteria should be there because if the assessment is not giving an opportunity for learning then the assessment is basically is nothing so uh, the primary purpose of assessment is to drive the students to learn I mean enthusiastically or spontaneously second learning occurs when students are active and invested so if we can develop a way of assessment or whatever that gives this keeps the students engaged and active then the learning facilitation is better the timing of assessment should be in a way so that it doesn't become a burden for the students at one point of time rather splitting the assessment items into different timings so that the students get an equal opportunity uh, to do well in their course or in the module and a spread assessment across a module that is also as uh, similar or related to the timing of assessment realistic assessment task assessment uh, according to their criteria should not be in a way that it is completely different from whatever we are teaching or from the realistic point of view and finally the built student capacity over time so it's not in a one-time assessment it is the assessment over the semester and uh, in 12 weeks across the 12 weeks and we try to build the capacity based on the contents week by week and that should be a purpose of the assessment designing the assessment now at this moment the ACT 102 the mid semester exam is 30% and if you see it is held in week 7 written assignment is 20% and the due date for submission is week 10 and the final exam is 50% that is uh, the exam is usually held in exam week so these are the the current assessment items that I have uh, in my uh, module in my unit 30% 20% 50% and the timing is week 7 week 10 and the exam period let's look at what are the uh, criticism or what are the f the problems that with this current assessment framework the first of all not consistent with learning outcome because one of the learning outcomes in this um, uh, assessment that we talk is basically critically analyze and interpret financial statements to evaluate organizational performance for example this is one of the learning outcomes but uh, none of my assessment items at this moment here is actually able to get the students this quality these outcomes and also the written ass assignment that uh, we are proposing is not giving exactly it's like a journal entry recording and some of the basic transaction recording it does not give the students any opportunity to analyze or anything so this is learning outcomes that we are expecting but I I feel that from the current assessment framework does not give a consistency uh, between the learning outcomes and the assessment items the types of assessment that I have at this moment is uh, one is mid semester exam which is MCQ completely and a written assignment and a final exam <coughs> the mid semester exam is uh, MCQ that's why you we can't really judge the students uh, analytical ability uh, like a long way of recording the transition or a lot of calculation that you can't really ask from the students so this is one of the problems and also in the written assessment as I said uh, we just ask the students to prepare a financial report but we don't really ask students to uh, to 
get the feedback from this financial report for example to develop a decision making process how it is going to affect the business so only uh, being able to write a financial report is not enough it's more important to understand and to derive the decisions so that is one of the problems that I find with this current types of assessment timing of assessment this is a more problematic because if you see the first assessment is coming in week 7 <coughs> and and you, you really can't figure out the problems with the students before this so week seven and by the time we give the feedback or the result that we gave it becomes week nine and if you I see a written assignment that when they submit it week 10 by the time I give the feedback is week 12 and it's not going to be useful anymore in for the final exam and as you see the final exam is of course you don't provide any kind of feedback so timing of assessment is a uh, after before mid semester they don't have really anything uh, to submit but from the mid semester it's becoming a hectic and most of the students uh, actually drop during this phase marks distribution uh, mid semester exam at this moment 30 percent written assignment 20 percent and final exam is 50 percent so it, this is always a problem uh, to identify exact weight of the assignment uh, assessment so it apparently if mid semester exam could be reduced to some extent written assignment could be reduced to by 5% at least and final exam also could be reduced to uh, around 5 to 10% it's not necessarily that we always have to have the 50% in the final exam and more importantly uh, no marks for class participation and attendance and this is a, a fundamental problems among the international students or even the domestic students doesn't matter in the classroom at least the class that i teach uh, there is no effective uh, feedback that i get from the students and also there is no effective communication in the class uh, discussion because it's hard to motivate the students or to participate in the class because there is no incentive there is no marks for them but if you give them some bonus or something then they get encouraged to this so at this moment uh, I, I believe that there should be a class participation and attendance reward in the assessment framework based on my research uh, uh, what I have tried to, I have tried to read the literature a lot related to accounting the techniques that it works and also uh, similarly did a research on the similar course offered in many other uni list in the top universities in Australia and try to develop a framework that fits with our context with our CDU context to the students profile and with my teaching philosophy and strategy so based on this I come up uh, I come across with this uh, framework of assessment the first one I would like to give them a 10% tutorial contribution and participation mark 10% so here my purpose is that uh, there will be 10 assignments um, 10 assignments means 10 tutorial class so students will be given the task before and they will be asked to solve those questions so randomly I can choose five and it will be given two marks 10% in class tutorial course so there will be uh, three quizzes like 10 MCQ questions in week 3 5 and 10 so that will give them 10% and mid semester exam that is held in week 7 as before is going to give them 20% written assignment is going to give them 10% and final exam is of course going to be 50% written assignment will be a short report but analyzing the real financial report like a real company's data and they will have to analyze this so this is what uh, my proposed framework and altogether it comes as a hundred percent what I'm expecting from this um, this uh, proposed framework is if you see the learning uh, the timing of the assessment is regular the tutorial is given a priority we are allocating nearly 20 percent mark in the tutorial and also we see the assessment is coming from week 3 week 5 and then week 7 is mid semester exam and then week 9 they have to submit the report and then week 10 is a small uh, again uh, quiz and then final exam well uh, there are uh, the timing is there regular assessment is there so that the students and also very small percentage is assigned on regular basis so that, that if any students missed one exam or quiz in this early phase in the tutorial they are not going to miss a lot but that gives them a pressure or that gives them an incentive to contribute to the tutorial as well as to keep them in a regular pace 
that will also help this spread um, assessment across the unit proper feedback can be provided across the unit because uh, we see the timing we can give them immediate result or the in the following week we can give them feedback deal with the real company's data because the assignment is going to be on a real company detect risk students early this is very very important for not only for this university for this campus for many other campus for many other uni is to find out early engagement with the students with the course so from this beginning we are starting from the quiz three week three and then five and then week seven as I said the timing of the assessments helps uh, the teachers to find out the students who are at risk who are not engaging in the class from the beginning and that also helped the building students capacity over time so these are the expected outcomes the proposed new outcomes that I am expecting from this uh, my proposed framework of assessment well uh, I have uh, sent this report to a colleague who is not necessarily from my background accounting background but from education background but give some very good feedback from this uh, the first of all the learning outcomes and graduate attributes according to his point is not necessary that one particular unit has to develop or has to contribute all the graduate attributes so it's a combination of all the all the courses or all the units that we are offering in the whole degree and combinedly that will contribute to the graduate attributes I agree with his point so I'm not particularly looking now at all the graduate attributes to come in one unit nature of student cohort um, <coughs> so he put two questions for me international students rely mostly on root learning and the second question he put for me does ACT want to actively teach or scaffold the development of the problem solving skills well um, I, I really uh, have to defend the first question international students rely mostly on root learning that is what we assume or from our experience they uh, mostly learn from the books and from the very very beginning from the very root level and scaffolding the development of the problem solving skills well um, we try our best in two of my classes I tried uh, two of my semesters that I taught this course uh, we try to develop these skills from the beginning uh, step by step so that's that problem probably is not a significant problem in this course then he uh, appreciated my idea on the tutorial contribution or participation he said this is a very good idea in class tutorial quiz that I proposed uh, three quizzes that I proposed but he is asking whether it's really important and five different assessment he's thinking this is going to be probably too heavy to carry for international students it might give them a stress as well and the the point that he raised for written assignment only 10% is it really worthy or not I mean what is the length of words that I'm expecting and then he argues with the why final exam will always have to be 50% it could be 40% it could be something 35% so that uh, we give a notion to the students that final exam is not the only assessment that we are looking for the other assessments are also equally important his points are good and then he proposed a framework uh, for the uh, assessment items so this is the existing assessment items mid-semester written assessment finalism and this is my proposed change tutorial contribution and participation 10% and 10% 20 and then his contribution is uh, his feedback is total tutorial contribution could be 50% mid semester is, uh, exam could be 30 percent written assignments could be 20 percent and final exam could be 45 percent no oh, this is a mistake this should be 20 percent yeah so this is going to be more than 100 percent no mid semester exam is going to be 20 percent that's as it is so that it becomes his idea is that to reduce the assessment items and also to reduce the burden of final exam to give some more marks in written assignment or mid semester exam so i'm thinking about this one so in the finally what uh, i'm looking for for this uh, framework i'm i, I should uh, go for more accounting colleagues uh, who have an experience of doing these kind of things or what do they think about my proposed framework I'll try to go for more feedback and also uh, 
need to think effectively uh, effective is assessment strategy to motivate to engage in tutorial class students uh, even not necessarily always through the uh, incentive from the assessment items if you can develop something else and more research is required to fit this strategy in accounting environment uh, I'm still looking for the other uh, assessment way or other double uh, assessment criteria that can be developed in from the accounting perspective so thank you for giving an opportunity to present here and i look forward uh, to get your feedback on this presentation and also from the framework of assessment that i developed if you have any questions and um, any other queries i'm happy to answer thank you so much